Okay, in my last video, we talked a lot about just how to make a simple graph using numbers. In this particular one, I'm gonna show you uh, how to make different types of graphs when that is necessary. And so we, in class, we did the roll the dice activity. So you should have um, this information in your data table already filled out. So I should have the, um, number of times I rolled side one, side two, side three, and so on. If for whatever reason you were unable to collect that data, you basically have two options. Number one, you can use the data that is in this video. So you can use eight for one and 12 for two and so on. So if you wanna use my data, that is fine. Um, if you want to roll your dice on your own, there are several dice simulations that I'll put links to um, in this assignment within Canvas that if you want to roll the dice that's, that, you know, or have dice, real dice at home, that's fine um, to collect your own data. But basically what you'll want to do is you'll want to repeat that 60 times so you have 60 rolls in order uh, for, for your data to, to uh, be complete. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is I have my data table here and it says for the first graph that I wanna make is a bar graph. So I go back into numbers and what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna slide this up and I'm gonna pull numbers up here so I can run numbers at the same time and it's a little tricky. So um, hopefully I can get this to work and um, maybe if I were to, I had it working so good before, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's a little tricky to get both of those to come up at the same time, but you just kind of drag one up and it then it makes things all significantly easier. And so what I want to do is I want to, I already have my data put into numbers just like we did on the last graph. So um, you know, if you haven't done that, watch the video prior to this one in order to get this far. But um, I create new, use the basic one, so the basic, the simplest spreadsheet you can make, and put in your data. So I have my sides over here and my numbers of each of those roles. I then need to select my data and click on Cell Actions. And then I click on create new chart and it gives me several options. Now in this particular one, remember I'm doing a bar graph. So I wanna pick the two dimensional bar graph and it appears to make my graph um, right away. But of course this isn't complete. It does not follow the graphing checklist. And so that's what I need to do is make sure that it has all those necessary items. So to do that is I click on the little paintbrush and I wanna turn on the title and I wanna turn off the legend in this case, okay? So you can see that did put the title there on my graph and then under style, I wanna go to the Y axis here, turn on my Y axis and turn on my X axis, okay? So now that I have those on my graph, I'm ready to go ahead and label those. So my title, I'm gonna call this sides of dice. And that's one of my variables. And then the number of rolls is my other variable. Okay, so I can go over here then to my Y axis, and that is the number of rolls. And then my X axis down here is the, uh, the sides of dice. Because what I have here is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, that are six sides to that dice. And that was the number of rolls for each one of those. And then I wanna copy and paste that into my Notability. So I simply click on it, hit copy, go over to my Notability, make sure that the T is what is selected, 
click and hold and then paste that on over into my notability. So um, pretty slick. That's what we did last time. There's no new information there on, on how to do that. So that was a bar graph. But um, let's do a circle graph next. So it says here on my notability that um, on the circle graph, what I want to do here is I need to calculate the percent of each roll and enter that into the data table. Okay, so the, the easiest way to do this is, of course, with a calculator. And so I'm going to do one example. And then for the rest of those, we can just put in our data. Okay, so the the way that I do that is I'm going to use um, this particular one, this particular calculator. And so on that first one, I had eight rolls that were number one. And I did that 60 times. So I need to divide that by 60. And then because I want this in a percent, I need to multiply that by 100 to get that as a percent. So you can see it is 13.333 repeating. Now, I can't have a third of a roll. So I'm going to want to round that. So 13.3 rounds to 13. So that's the number that I want to use is that 13 number. And so over here, uh, under where it says, um, you know, on my data table, I want to write 13. And then I do that same calculation for all the rest of those, which I've already done. And so this one rounded to 20. This one rounded to 10, 22, 17, and 18. Okay, so again, I did that same calculation for all of those, and that needed to be rounded to the nearest whole number because you can't have a um, partial roll. Okay, so um, and then a quick little check of those. If I went when I'm doing percent, I like to go back and I add all those together. And depending on how I rounded, it should be at 100 or 99 or point something, you know, it's going to be real close. So this one should be at 100 because we rounded and that should be fine. So I want to make a circle graph with this. So the easiest way to do that then is to hit the plus sign there on numbers. And that will ask you if you want to create a new sheet, which I've already done. And so when I make a new sheet, it brings up that new, new information there. And so what I want to do then is I want to go ahead and make, put in my data here. So I have sides on one part of my table, and then I have percent on the other side of my table. And so over here, I'm going to go ahead and make this one, and then two, three, four, five, and six. And then my percents were 13, 20, 10, 22, 17, and the last one I think was 18. Okay, so I now have all of my data in there. I'm going to make this a little shorter so it kind of cleans things up a little bit. And I then want to select my data. Now notice I selected only my data. I did not select those empty cells because if I include those empty cells, it's going to bring in that, that empty information. And so I want to make sure that I only select the cells that have the data in it. And I go through those same steps that I just outlined for the, the bar graph, but now I'm making a circle graph. So again, I select my data. I hit cell actions, create new chart. This time, instead of hitting the bar graph, I want to hit the circle graph. So again, it's not complete. In order to make this complete, there are several things I need to do. So again, I click on my paintbrush and I go back into my chart options and I turn on my title. But this particular one, I'm going to want to leave my legend on because I need that legend to identify those different colors there and what those mean. And then under style, um, I don't really need to put anything on here because of my legend, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on my data point names just because I like having the numbers inside of the graph as well. Okay. So I'm going to then go ahead and hide that and do some tweaking here on my graph. 
So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to move that legend over so it's a little easier to see my title. I'm then going to kind of double tap on that title. The title, I could just say percent of each number rolled. And so now I have my graph is complete. It has a good title. It has uh, everything it needs, it has my legend. And so I know that, you know, one is in blue and two is in green and so on. It's all right there. Um, and I just want to tap on that again, copy that, bring it over to Notability. Again, select the T, tap and hold, and paste that right in. So, um, you know, Pretty, pretty slick, um, nice to get that uh, all in there. I can then slide this on over and bring up my notability to just double check that I have everything completed there. So I have my circle graph in there, have my data, have my bar graph, have my data, and I'm ready to submit. So I'll go ahead and submit that into Canvas. So uh, hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, contact me and we'll get you taken care of.